Hey Water Signs, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, thank you for tuning into my channel and being here with me today. We are going to be looking into what your person is thinking and what they're dwelling on. So this can be someone you are currently connected to or someone from your past, whoever's on your mind, whoever you're maybe still thinking about Water Signs, we'll see what's coming up on their end and what are some of the thoughts going on um, some, what are some of their private thoughts, I should say. So uh, look, before I begin, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and also please uh, sign up for membership if you want to become a channel member. You will get access to member-only content. Otherwise, uh, let's see what a science. What's coming up? What is this person thinking about? Who is the person thinking about you? And what is it that they're thinking about? Strong fire sign personalities coming up. Okay, I get that this is someone maybe you treated like an option. Could be a fire sign. We've got the nine of cups with the ten of cups reversed. This is someone you almost had a really powerful connection with or you almost had your happily ever after with this person. Three of swords and three of uh, chalices definitely makes me feel like this person was... You, you had him as an option. Okay, this is the person that felt maybe you, maybe they were one of your options here. So it could also be someone you've had a couple of relationships with or you've had, you've been back and forth. Um, but I get that this is someone you may have hurt, water signs. Um, you, you might be still friends with this person, but it could be someone overseas, someone who's foreign, so a different nationality to you. Maybe they're bilingual. Um, I do get that strong fire uh, energy in particular. We've got Sagittarius, um, but also the moon here. So that can be a cancer or cancer that might be for you. You might have had this person as an option maybe. Um, okay, so things got really hard with this person. They ticked a lot of boxes for you and you were very happy, but there was also some things you were unhappy about with this person. Now, this is someone that may have recently tried to make peace with you or you recently tried to make peace um, with them, uh, water signs. But, okay, so I'm getting a Sagittarius energy. This person is, if they haven't made peace with you, they're thinking about making peace with you. But be careful, Three of Swords and Three of Chalices, they've got other people as well. So, I mean, they could be coming back, popping back up into your life. But something about a third-party situation, some of you are currently involved with this person and they've got someone else. They could be unavailable emotionally, but some of you are still dabbling into that. Be careful um, because you may find out about this third person fairly soon. Um, okay, so it might also be, let's look at what they're thinking. And I think from their side, they're keeping you around as an option. They have other options around them, though. Three of Swords is often seen like a betrayal, like a third party, cheating, scandals. So if you know who this person is and they have a track record of doing this, be careful because they they could be thinking about doing it again. Or it's like if this has recently happened and they found out that you're still hung up on an ex or you have a new person or you're juggling options, they're not going to be too happy about it. So there, there could be someone here going through some pain over you uh, or they're trying to heal from you in a way. Nine of Cups tells me this person has wishful thinking about you and I do feel like you may hear from them um, and they'll want, I, I get like peace, peace and friendship. So someone's thinking about being friends with you again or they could actually be minimizing the connection, all right? Someone you might be connected to and they might turn around and say, look, I just want to be friends. Okay, so for some of you, you're about to get friend zoned big. Um, and you know, there might not have been a connection. You might have wanted them. Um, or you may find like, the more and more you get to know this person, the more you find, okay, well, you know, maybe we are just friends. Like, I don't really have a strong attraction to them or, you know, they don't treat me like a lover. Like, there's something that they may be missing that you're searching for water signs. And you know, that really deep connection that's important for you it's important for you to be loved and smothered and have all this wonderful affection and have someone that's crazy about you because that gives you emotional security and when you find that you nurture it but when you come across people that don't give you that you start to sort of scratch your head a little bit and go well that's not really what i want i want to feel loved and i want to feel adored and i want to feel like someone puts me on a pedestal so i mean you might be questioning some of these things but I definitely get that someone might be heartbroken over you or like 
they have a choice. They're choosing between you and another person. Now, because the Three of Swords, Three of Chalices, Two of Wands is telling me that. It could also be that someone feels like things got too complicated in the end. Like there might be someone here who's thinking, who's like struggling, Ten of Wands, especially if it's a fire sign. I feel like this person is struggling. Um, and look, they may be dealing with other things that are not that are ex like exterior to the relationship. Like they may be dealing with things that are like family involved or work related, and that might be spilling into the connection. And you know what happens? Like we get caught up with other things in life and then it spills into the relationship. So, you know, they might be going through a bit of a funk here. Be patient with this person. Um, but yeah, I definitely get with the Nine of Chalices, this person's wishing for you. Um, or if you have options, water signs, and this person is wishing that you would choose them. But the Ten of Cups is here, the Happily Ever After card. This is like the long-term card. So it could be that this person had a future like planned out between the both of you, you know, marriage, kids or something, but that's coming up reversed for them. So it makes me feel like it's either they no longer want that with you or they don't see you as someone they could have that with. If that's not the case, I feel like with the Ten of Chalices, somehow the long-term future has been shut down for them. It's hard, like maybe they were told they couldn't have children or maybe they have to move overseas and start a new job or maybe they had to do something and it's sort of taken away a future um, and maybe that's the heartbreak that they're feeling like they don't feel like the future between the both of you doesn't seem as as concrete as it once did and you know it's made them feel a little bit unsure there can be some ego into play here to be honest, Ten of Wands, King of Wands, this person, like, um, when things get too heavy, they possibly, like, give up really quickly. So, I mean, be mindful of that. Um, but I get, like, defeat. I do. I feel like someone feels defeated about your connection, about where you're at. And it's hurting them. I'm not going to lie. I feel like there is pain here. <clears throat> but they want to make peace and they want to be friends. And maybe that's where you have to start off again. Or, like, bring it back to friendship and see how that goes before you jump into anything further. Mm, let's see what else. Okay, so we've got an air king. We've got fire king and air king. So this could be an air sign feeling this way. So Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra um, about you water signs as well. But they definitely want to talk. I'm seeing messages coming from this person. So they might be typing up a message to you. They might be um, ready to communicate. I, I feel like there's someone who's almost ready to reach out here. It's going to come at a divine time, I feel, with the Wheel of Fortune. But the Four of Wands, this is the marriage card. This is the relationship card. Um... I get that this person wants to feel happy with you again. Like maybe they want to take you out. Maybe they just want fun in the connection once again. Um, there could be someone wanting a relationship or wanting marriage. That is the marriage card. So I'm getting that someone, they're thinking about this with you or in the least, they're thinking about what a relationship with you would look like. So they're definitely, if you are an option for them, they're seriously considering you. It looks like you'll be winning because Nine of Cups is here, your wish about this person is going to be fulfilled. Let's talk about you, Water Signs. Where are you at in this reading? You're at the Ten of Cups, you're at the Nine of Cups. What's going on? Oh, you're also at the Three of Chalices. You want options. You possibly want their friendship or you want to know what's going on in their life. You still want them. Nine of Cups is the wish card. You still fantasize about them. I don't know. Some of you, you're dreaming about this person when you hit your head. On the pillow at night, they come up, things remind you of them, but you don't want the happily ever after. You don't want the relationship with them. What's going on? Maybe you want friendship. Maybe that's what, what you want right now. Or that the possibility of a future has been stripped away from you and you're struggling with that too somehow. Or something about the long term. You don't see how it's going to come to be. You don't see how it's going to manifest here. So... Um, a fate of things are happening in this connection either way. So I feel like this is a very crucial time where you are right now. So um, 
you'll have to let me know what happens with this water signs, but things are developing behind the scenes, whether you're aware of it or not. I'm going to leave it there, everyone. So thank you again for watching. Lots of love. Please subscribe and bye for now.